Uh, what's up? This your boy Peanut coming at you with another reaction. And before we get into this, welcome to Peanut Gallery. On this channel, I react to hip hop music, anime, and comedy. And today, today, man, we got some new CJ the Champ, Stink Meaner, the personification of hatred. Now, if you know about anything about Boondocks, this man came back in many different forms, in different seasons. This man is a demon. Enough talk. Let's see what the champ got to say. Let's go. <clears throat> Hate you. Right. To dislike a nigga intensely or passionately. Yep. To the point where you completely detest and despise that Yep. On a daily basis. Yep. Now you see, ladies and gentlemen, there are just many haters in fiction just in general. For an example, Reverse Flash. Yep. I mean, yo, this man hates Barry so much, I don't even know if you call it hate at this point. It's like a severe case of meat munching. And then obviously, you know, we got your D.O.'s, your freezers, yep. your flat nose, no nostril, Voldemort, how does that nigga smell? <laughs> Yeah, how's his nose? That's impossible. How can it, how can he smell anything? That shit is crazy. Nose, no nostril, Voldemort. How does that nigga smell? And yo, you even got your scars. Yup. Scar, please help me. Oh what boy. The fuck? Pull me out. Long live the king. Adios, <laughs> But ladies and gentlemen, the man that we are focusing on today really? might be one of the most despicable, Jan, vile, up? disgusting, and ignorant human beings to ever grace God's green earth. The personification of hatred, Colonel H. Yup. The worst. Let's get it. Hey, still the best intro on YouTube. Let's go see Jay. Talk to us, man. Exhibit A. Of course. Hi, right, ladies and gentlemen. To understand the <laughs> philosophy of stink meter and basically this entire video, ladies and gentlemen, I must explain to you the nigga moment. Uh -oh. An altercation caused by ignorance, overwhelming the logic, otherwise rational thinking of a brother. Yep. Now watch closely as I personally give you a demonstration. Mm -hmm. Hey, watch where you going. Hold on, hold on. Any black person, anybody in general, you know that moment. When you bump into another black person or you step on their the white shoes, pff, the moment's about to happen. Nigga, hey, hey, what you say to me, cuz? Now, as you can see, these niggas is ready to pop a cap in each other's asses. Yep. So they start to get to blasting and miss every single shot like they just got off the set of A New Hope. <laughs> and once they realize they just both wasted each other's time, Terrible. they end up figuring out that they just wasted their life away. Yep. <laughs> R.I.P. 12 got him. Now, since we have more of an understanding of what is happening here, ladies and gentlemen, meet Colonel H. Stinkmeter. Now, even back in his childhood, Stinkmeter was always an old, hating, bitter ass. Mm -hmm. He didn't care for beautiful sceneries, sunsets, rainbows. He just disliked happiness in general. Man, this some old bush. At age 15, <laughs> Stinkmeter lost his eyesight to cancer. But the thing is, he didn't care. Fact. He was just glad that he ain't had to see shit no more. So doctors only gave him three years left to live. So he decided for those three years, he would dedicate his life to spread misery and hatred. All for just singing. And the thing is, people don't even know how he lived to become an old man. All they just say is, bro, it's basically a Sith Lord. The mm -hmm. angel drove him to live every single day. Now later on, we see his Fact. beat up ass pickup truck driving like a Nissan Altima in Atlanta. Not giving <laughs> a care in the world, Jesus Christ. That Nissan Altima in Atlanta. You know people drive crazy down everywhere but don't lord don't let it snow down south boy Ooh -wee. so doctors only gave him three years left to live so he decided for those three years he would dedicate his life to spread misery and hatred all for just singing and the thing is people don't even know how he lived to become an old man all they just say is bro it's basically a sith lord the hatred drove him to live every single day now later on we see this beat up ass pickup truck driving like a nissan ultimate in atlanta not giving a care in the world jesus christ is like truck who done possessed this man right Wait a minute. as i'm now thinking about it who in the hell gave this old blind nigga a driver's license thank you whoever issued this shit, you should love. be ashamed of yourself now as we can see this man is speeding through a parking lot going at least 50 and he starts bagging in the gray man's car yep. and he's like hmm, there better not be nobody in my parking space is handicapped so this man 
man gets out of his car and he's like, who in the hell parked in my space? That's like calling 1-800-collecting-ass-whooping. Yep. Partner. So Granddad says, yo, bro, are you blind? Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. You got a problem with that? <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, just like that, Robert Freeman has been trapped in a in moment. So Huey says, yo, you could have killed somebody. And this man's stink meter like, well, oh, I'll be doing them a favor. Getting ran over by me is as gracious as Jesus Christ coming down himself and giving you holy communion. Damn. Oh, look what you did to huh. my oh, brother. You best have insurance. Nigga, you better have insurance. Ass whooping okay, insurance. Because you about to pay a deductible. <laughs> Now, ladies and gentlemen, Granddad could either do two things right now. He could do A, walk away and let insurance handle it, right. or B, fight with an old crazy blind man. Yep. And uh, let's just say this brother chose B. So Steve Meaner just start pressing him. He just start spitting in his face. Fell for the like, trap, what you gonna man. do, huh? Punk ass, pussy ass, jazz, punk ass, bitch ass, nick <laughs> You gonna do something about it? Bitch ass, nick Going wild. And then Steve Meaner ends up doing one of the most evil, demonic, and despicable things you can ever do to another man. Hold up! I smell new shoes! Mm -hmm. This man stepped on Granddad's new white man scissor! Boy, I'm telling you, man. If you never had your shoes stepped on by somebody fresh, clean, you don't know, man. I know an average individual will go crazy. They'll snap instantly and go hood crazy i'm telling you man you don't want to be in this type of situation oh hell no nah bro this is the most disrespectful thing you can ever do to a man bro. right bro, i just bought these hoes from foot Locker like five minutes ago and nah nah if you didn't play it back look how he stepped on it bro pulled back his whole leg he caught that it. Hole at a 90 degree angle then went yeah damn all nah, bro, that's how you know he ain't got no respect for you. And he's like, yeah, they ain't doing him all Yeah, So then, this was the final straw that made Granddad take. So Granddad mm -hmm. swinged at him, but we had dodges it. And he's like, ah, yeah! Damn! Oh, Lord, and it was on his bad knee, Jesus Christ. Yep. My brother, you just got your ass beat by an old man, man. So Huey had to stop him. He was like, nah, bro, this over. So later mm -hmm. on, after Granddad was just fully embarrassed, everybody just started making fun of him. Riley's like, eh, could it be me getting my ass whooped by an old blind yep. girl? And later that night, while Granddad cleaning his shoes, bro, I look on the news and he like, this just said, a fight at Woodcrest Mall broke out today with an older blind man wow. and another man known as Satan. And it wasn't just local news. CNN was reporting on it and international news. Brother got niggas in Mexico City called... Hold on, hold on. Tell me, y'all, in the chat, man, after this video's over and everything. Tell me how you feel somebody was blind beat you up, man. How would you feel about that, man? Let's go. Bro, look on the news and he like... This just said a fight at Woodcrest Mall broke out today with an older blind man and another unknown <laughs> assailant. And it wasn't just local news. CNN was reporting on it and international news. Brother got niggas in Mexico City calling him a piñata. Yep. So then the phone started <laughs> ringing and Fact. guess who left a voicemail? Oh, boy. Hello, Robert. Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Now, I saw you get your ass beat by that old blind nigga on Not the news. Rocky. And I know you must be feeling embarrassed right now. So you know what would cheer you up, Robert? Some KFC. Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> Robert, hello? Don't you walk away from this ass machine. So it got so bad to the point Ignorant that later shit. on, Granddad ended up going Dude, back yo. to the mall, found Stink Meter, and challenged him to a fight. So Granddad started training thinking he Ali or something, because mm -hmm. Huey was like, Granddad, you don't know what you're doing. This man is like a blind samurai or something. I had a dream about him the other night. He's like that. And right. then on the other side, you got Riley ignorant ass promoting this like we about to watch Jake Paul versus Andrew Tate. Yep. So now it's the night wow, of the fight. Get that this. chicken. And Riley out here overcharging for $10. So they start squaring up and Making that like, money. Yeah. You scared? You scared? Ain't your bitch nipper. Yeah, I can smell the right off of you. Mm -hmm. That's vintage. So he starts swinging, and then Huey ends up realizing, oh my god, this ain't no trained blind samurai. No. Nope. He ain't got super hearing or nothing. He was just a blind old man that just got lucky. Real so lucky. He was like, wait, hold on, Granddad. But it was too late. Finish him. Yup. Granddad That's started whooping that ass. Woo. Gave him a short, you got ass. <laughs> 
started kicking up like Kiki. Right. And then great. Granddad loaded up and knocked him out. Yeah. Ooh. Fatality. Good night. And he didn't just knock him out. Granddad killed him. All right, Pete. Sent him to Jesus. All because he got trapped in a the moment. Yep. So, yeah, that was Exhibit A, and it's time to move on to Exhibit B. Crazy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit B, The Return. So, mm -hmm. as we know, Stink Meter died, but little did we know, this was just the beginning. Yep. This man is in hell training with the devil. That's wild. Who is washing demons, and even the devil said, He's the baddest motherfucker. Uh -huh. This man got the devil to acknowledge that he is the baddest guy he's ever That's seen. Insane. That is the most legendary feat of all time. <laughs> it he is. even called the devil a bitch ass nigga. So the devil's like, Cuddle H. Dignita, I am now sending you back to spread ignorance and hatred in the black community. Ah, mm -hmm. LA shit. I'm coming for you, free man. <laughs> Bro, ain't not worse than the worst thing on this side, planet Earth, heaven and hell. Come on, acknowledge you as being the best MF -er ever. And this dude is the worst thing ever created. And he did not think me to be better than him. Yeah, that is wild. So meanwhile, we cut over to Tom, who is basically the equivalent of a brother that is out of touch with his people. Right. Even Stink Meaner knew that every brother's spirit is weakened during a night. Mm -hmm. So this dude ends up cutting off Tom and taking his parking spot. So Tom's like, hey, hey, come on, man, you nigga poop. You, you can't do that. Hey. <laughs> hey, hey, come back here. I had my turn signal on and everything. Right. But then the dude turned around and just started cussing him out. He like, Fuck you punk ass, pussy ass, weak ass nigga. I'll beat your mother to did it. Yes. Don't ever your life ever holler at me, nigga. Right. Now, as we can see, Tom has been trapped in a nigga yep. meeting, And this was a perfect time for Stink Meaner to make his move. Mm-hmm. We oh, as we can stay. What did you say, nigga? <laughs> what is man talking oh, yeah. to WWE drop hits this man? Ooh. And he's like, oh, yeah, look at ya. You was talking all that good shit a second ago, and you got kicked in your chest. Yep. Yeah, we the dick, nigga. Yeah, we the dick. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my God, I'm so sorry. So, so, somebody call an ambulance. Bro, you see the personality switch 180, bro? <laughs> I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all don't want to be trapped in the end moment. I'm telling you, it's the worst feeling in the world, man. Oh my goodness, boy. Oh, man, it's funny that Steak Mirror took over of all people's body. This man right here, this man is, doesn't do nothing. So it's just. Crazy, man. Crazy. Hey, help! Now, ladies and gentlemen, as we can see, He's Tom though. has been possessed by Stink Meaner. Yep. So this man, Stink Meaner, got him acting up in the courtroom. Working up in there and said, F*** your court, nigga! <laughs> then later on, bro goes home to Tom's wife. Yep. And he's like, Oh yeah, I wanna beat up them booty cheeks. Oh, Tom, what has gotten Turn into up. you? The same thing that's about to get into you. <laughs> and he beats his wife's cheeks. Yup. Uh, oh my goodness. Imagine an evil spirit taking over your body and using your body to beat up on your girl Doonies. Nah, mm. that's crazy. Bro, you know that reminded me of with Dio, man. <laughs> Hi, Jack. <laughs> Joe Toro's body, man. Come on. You know if you know, man. Let's go. Bro got up in there and said, F*** your court, nigga. <laughs> then later man, on, Bro cool. goes home to Tom's wife. And he's like, oh, yeah. I want to beat up them booty cheeks. Oh, Tom, what has gotten into you? The same thing that's about to get into you. And he beats his wife. Getting oh, his jungle oh fever on, boy. Imagine an evil spirit taking over your body and using your body to beat up on your girl Doonies. That's nah, wild. Bro, that's, crazy. that's crazy. So then later no on, cap. Stink Meter pulls up to Robert's house. Now, I don't know what Robert looking up on the toilet, but the sensor bar is going crazy right now. Hell so yeah. Dog starts tearing the door down with an axe, <laughs> and he's like, I'm back. Shining. Yeah. Like, yo, what in the shining is yeah. going on right now? <laughs> Come on, so man. Start running down the steps. Jesus Christ, this man's whole pack 
Lincoln just hanging out. Yes, Those men are saying, you don't remember me? You don't remember my name? Ooh. What's my name, nigga? <laughs> What's my name, Robert? What's my name? When Dewey finally says his name. It's like, ding, ding, ding. That's right, nigga. Yep. So then all the Freemans get ready to jump him. So they get the strap. Mm -hmm. This man stink nigga going crazy. Where a body Dewey Whoopin'. smack Riley around. Whoop. And he is still continuing to body the whole family. Damn. Like, is that all y'all got, nigga? Beat. Look at this backhand to Dewey. Oh, my gracious. <laughs> so they finally end up pinning him down. And Riley had to smack this man with, like, three faces yep. to finally just knock him out. KO him. So later on, they he got to on, on this bed. And Robert is having this date. So in the middle of his date, Stick <laughs> to wake up and he like, Robert, I know you hear me, you Bitch, I know you went to take some snacks and shit. Oh, honey, what is that? Oh, 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 no, 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 oh, oh, no. Boy, shaking. I know you hear me, Robert. I know you didn't vote this year, you lousy nigga. Damn. Oh, you weirdo. Wait, wait, hold on, baby. That's just a TV. So they end up man. having to call the Catholic Church to exercise this man. So there was only one man oh, that could Lord. save the day. May God bless you, Robert. I came as fast as I could. I'm so let's go ahead and get down to business. Yeah. Removing the evil spirit from a brother is as hard as getting rid of a hunk of s***. <laughs> so we must use these holy <laughs> weapons from God himself. A Bad. bunch of weapons that I will not say because dear God I will get demonetized. Yes, you will. A brother will make no excuses. Cap. If he get desperate, that brother may try to rap. Oh, yes, you can hear it. Robert, I, I know you got bad credit. So they Damn. get up in this room. And Ruckus pulls out the Bible and says, Read the yeah. read. <laughs> and they start beating this man on the bed and saying ah! some crazy that. I'm going to be honest with you. I know I'm not the most family friendly, but uh, I, I, I ain't saying it. But then Huey ends up realizing this ain't doing nothing. Nope. So they kept on doing this for like several hours. And then they ended up figuring out that the only way to expel Both his spirit up. was to create peace with him. And the only way to do that was for Ruckus to make him laugh about how much he hates brothers. And that finally ended up That's exercising wild. his spirit and sending him back down to hell. Exhibit C. Oh, boy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit C, the hateocracy. Yep. So even though that stink meaner is now long dead and gone, he still had a crew mm -hmm. that wanted to come back and get it back in blood. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, meet the hateocracy. Yep. A group of bitter old hating ass niggas consisting of Colonel H. Stink meaner, Lord Rufus Crabmeister, Lady Red Esmeralda <laughs> Great Nasty, <laughs> and Mr. George Christofferson. Now you see, they all met at a retirement home and they all hated each other. But the thing they had in common was that they hated everybody else even more. Mm -hmm. So they decided to cause complete chaos at the retirement That's home. That's wild. Stealing jello and crashing bingo parties. Oh. Be bored. Be bored. Bingo, nigga. <laughs> Damn. What the f I win. Give me that shit. Eventually, it got to the point where they had to kick him out. Wow. But that didn't stop him because they roamed the earth for a decade causing chaos. Mm -hmm. Eventually, till they split up. But because of the death of Stink Meter, the Hateocracy reunited to get it back in, in blood. blood. So meanwhile, we cut over to Ruckus working at this gas station and this black car pulls up. So they come up to the door and Ruckus is like, oh, hell no. What the hell y'all want? Mm -hmm. We looking for someone. Are you sure it's someone or something? Because you should be looking for the zoo. What y'all looking for? The Curious George exhibit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Racism, bro. <laughs> The Curious George exhibit. I'm weak. Robert Freeman. Oh, hell no. Y'all know Robert? Y'all best get to stepping before I send y'all ass the hell out. So you telling me you know Robert then? Good. Looks like I can find where he is if I beat your fat, googly one-eyed ass to death. Damn. Look his ass, Rufus. Ooh. Breaking news. Lights the man out. at the gas station was jumped by three assailants in black. The victim, Mr. Uncle Ruckus, no relation, had this to say. <laughs> oh, Lord, that, that, that was three of them. Oh, they, they must have escaped from the zoo or something. <laughs> them damn wild animals. Police say the suspects are still at large. <laughs> so, yeah, man, uh, Ruckus got jumped. Yes, he did. So later that day, George...
George and Esmeralda pull up to Huey and Riley's school, and they like, um, yes, we're the grandparents of the Freemans, and uh, we're here for checkout. Yeah, that's right, we're here for checkout, fool. So Huey end up realizing, obviously, something ain't right. So they go outside, and there they are. Well, 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 we came a long way to kill y'all little motherfuckers. And dog, look at this jump. Uh-uh, no. What? No, if I see a pair of 75-year-olds moving like this, I already know I'm about to get my ass. So they start boy, to the way he jumped in the air, boy. They would have won a gold medal, man, for how high they jumped. That is crazy. They would have cleared the damn ball, the bar easily, man. Um, them damn wild animals. Police say the suspects are still at large. So yeah, man, uh, Ruckus got jumped. So later that day, George and Esmeralda pull up to Huey and Riley's school, and they like, um, yes, we're the grandparents of the Freemans, and uh, we're here for checkout. Yeah, that's right, we're here for checkout, fool. So Huey end up realizing, obviously, something ain't right. So they go outside, and there they are. Well, 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 we came a long way to kill y'all little motherfuckers. And dog, look at this jump. Uh-uh, no, no, G. If I see a pair of 75-year-olds moving like this, I already know I'm about to get my ass. Mm. So they start to get the scrappy, and they is tearing off. Oh, my God. Woo. Look at Esmeralda. Oh, Lord. Damn. <laughs> Oh, and uh, fun fact, she hit this man with the exact combo that Orochimaru hit Sasuke. Yeah. But she hit him with that gripe nasty variant. Yeah. So Huey and Riley just got absolutely fucked Damn. here. Damn. Riley got his brain, bro. Hey, at least Huey put up a fight. Right. But they ended up getting bailed out because it was time for recess. But meanwhile, while this was happening, Robert ends up going fishing. But he ends up running into Rufus. So he's like, come on, the hell are you doing? Oh, nothing much. I'm just thinking about catching fish. I might catch one more today. Tell me, sir. Do you know a man by Sting Meter? <laughs> you already should, because you killed him. Robert Freeman! So bruh starts swinging this. I don't even know what that is. What? So Robert starts getting the step. The yeah. dude ended up wrapping him up in the thing. But Robert kicks the barrel and yep. grabs in his face. Oh, Lord. Yep. So later on, he ended up hiring Bushido Brown oh, to be a bodyguard. Lord. So he ended up pulling up to the house. Bro, so they did my man Bushido. They did him dirty. They start getting ready to jump this man Bushido Brown. But he looks he start working him. Oh, my God. Look how he beat old girl, beat the wig off that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> then he hit him with the fish. <laughs> nah, bro, this man Bushido Brown was cold. But I say was because uh, yeah. his life was past tense. He was. Lacking. Oh, my God. Wow. Man, you know, you got to censor a lot of stuff now on YouTube because uh, you're that new policy. You don't want to make Mama Susan mad now, do you? <laughs> so right, he exactly. He's like, okay, bro, I'm, like, I'm sorry I killed Steak Meaner. I am sorry I had a nigga moment. But then they end up saying, nah, we don't give a f about no Steak Meaner. I beg your pardon. <laughs> yeah, he was our nigga, but it don't matter. We just came to f shit up. Mm. What? No, no, bro. This whole time you thought, oh, they coming back to get it back in blood. Mm. No, they literally came and did all this, all for shits and giggles. Nah, bro, that's this wild. is crazy. That's just hating to another level. Yep. So they about to kill him, but luckily the cops came and they just arrested him. And the stink meaner saga finally came to an mm. end. Psych! Exhibit <laughs> yep. Ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Uncharted Territory, mm -hmm. the territory where legends are made. Oh. Welcome to Exhibit B. Yep. I now present to you the clone. So you see, Steak Meaner wasn't done messing with Robert because he had a clone. You see, Steak Meaner answered the ad on uh, blackpeoplemeet.com. Right. And the government <laughs> made a clone of him. So he gets this note from the original Steak Meaner and it says, Dear clone me, go f*** with that nigga Robert from OG Steak. Oh so later Lord. on, Robert is at the mall and he sees the back of his car is rammed into again. And guess who did Man. it? What's good, Robert? That's right. I ran into your car and I didn't even want to park there. <laughs> I just wanted to f*** up your car and wait here to tell you about it. So Robert's <laughs> like, oh. Nah, bruh, I ain't having this today. I'm just gonna have to kill you again then, huh? Yep. So they get the scrapping and this man's steak meter is moving. Mm -hmm. And he's like, oh yeah, mm -hmm. the government gave me some augmentation. Look at that headbutt. Do they go? Sidekick, boom. Mm -hmm. And people recording Robert getting bodied, 
Damn. Damn. So you know this episode was made back then during the glory days of World Star. So the mm-hmm. cops ended up coming and stopping this fight. But no, no, it wasn't over. Because later on, he get this call on Skype. <laughs> Skype. Any of y'all remember Skype? Yeah. Matter of fact, does anybody even still use Skype? But anyway, I, I highly he doubt it, bro. On the phone and he like, what's good, you go? Just to let you know, we gonna have a rematch. You know, I done already told the whole world about it. So if you don't show, you a bitch. Toodaloo, Robert. <laughs> So they ended up having another altercation, but Robert called the cops and they ended up arresting Stink Meter. But then, this is where it just got crazy. So Ed Wunsler pulls up to Robert's house and he's like, hey, I heard about your altercation with Stink Meter, so uh, I bailed him out. And we're gonna have a whole fight because I like money. So they end up making this a whole fight, a televised event with promotional material and everything. Mm. But while Robert was training for this fight, something was happening to him. The dark side was taking over Mm. and he was slowly becoming more like stink me uh. so it's the night of the fight and you could obviously see the difference in him man's got the ball spot and yep. everything bro became what he wanted to destroy yep. so they start to fight and robert just kicked him in the face Woo. so stink me like oh i see you must have took some karate classes or something Damn. So yeah bro this wasn't even a fight robert gave this man the most absolute beat of the century but the thing is that you have to think about, though, this isn't really Robert. No. All this is, is just Robert under Stink Meter's influence. Mm. He ended up becoming what he wanted to destroy. An old, hating uh, ass nigga. Yo. So here we ended up having to stop it. He's like, great, man, this ain't you. Stop, man. And yo, look at the whole crowd, bro. It's just silent. And then this man, Ed, like, hmm, looks like this entire event was a flop. This is basically like an Austin McBroom creator class fight. Right. Flop. It was only fun when your ass was getting beat, Robert. Yep. All right, everybody, pack it up. <laughs> Let's count up the pay-per-view sales. So then Robert told Stink Meter, if I let you live, will you stop messing with me? And Stink Meter like, I mean, sure. All you did was just have to ask. What? <laughs> nah, bro. So you telling me this man could have just stopped all this hating if you just asked him? Come on. Nah, that's Come crazy. On. So we cut three no months way. later. And this man Sting Meter outside of his house still harassing him. Robert, hey, why you don't ever invite your boy Stinkle? That's f***ed up, Robert. So Robert comes through the door. He's like, get off my property. And Sting Meter say, oh, I'm on the sidewalk. And I'm going to be here for the rest of your life, oh, Robert. Lord. See you tomorrow at 7. Yeah, pretty much. He did have a PhD. Yup. Crazy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Another banger from the legend of CJ the Champ, man. That was my reaction to Stink Meaner, the personification of hatred. This dude is a demon, y'all. Imagine having to deal with somebody who's bothering you each and every day, man. On some stupid shit all the time. Just regular nonsense for no reason. Can you imagine that shit? No, man. You will eventually snap eventually. Like... This man is Stink Meaner is the definition of being a demon. Black Air Force activity. Not giving an F, man. Such a savage, man. But before I end this, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. Most importantly, leave a comment below the video. We on the road to 1K subs. I'm out, y'all. One love.